Here is my social media. Check out my Roblox group and merch. Hey everyone, Ashley Bunny here. And today we're going to be playing on Royal High once again. And today we're going to be talking about some major tea. And also some Royal High ideas from the community. So before we get into the exciting tea, I'm going to be going over the Royal High ideas from the community on Twitter, of course. But before we do any of that, I'm going to go ahead and spin the wheel because I haven't done so yet. So let's go ahead and see what we get. I'm still, I'm still wishing, hoping, and dreaming for the dramatic eyelashes. When will I be granted them? It's been decades. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I still, I want them really badly. So please, please land on the pink present, please. No. You know what, alien, not too bad. You know what, I do have something to say. Yesterday, I landed on the alien and I got the, let me see. I got the magical star sparkles and I didn't know that that was on the wheel. That was like the first time I got a wheel item from wave two in like months. That was a pretty cool thing. And also, would you guys look at my outfit? <laughs> look at my cat ears and my cat tail. I know it's not Halloween yet, but guys, I'm dressing up early. I mean, come on now. We're not really going trick or treating in quarantine. Let's be real. But you know what? I can still dress up for it early and you know, I'm a little white cat, so cute, white and pink cat by the way, mostly pink. So let's go ahead and get straight into the ideas. So the first idea is from Alex on Twitter, and Alex says, this is the cherry set. Rework concept of action booties, so cool. Concept I made for Royal High, I hope Lancelot and Night Barbie see this. I know, I hope they see it too. I know I said that last time, but I hope they see it. And I'm gonna go over here to show you guys, but I'm gonna put on the action booties so I can show you guys what they look like in comparison to the um, action booties rework idea. So we have the action booties right here. I remember when they were reworked, I was I was having a ball dressing them up with every outfit I had. You guys know, go into my old videos, I, had, I wore these every day. It was just me, but now, I don't know, I just don't wear them that much because I have other heels. Here are the action booties currently, a little bit of clipping, not too shabby, it's not too bad. Here is the first photo of Alex's idea, and it is of the full outfit, the full cherry set. It doesn't look like there's any prices or any like listings for the items in the photo, but you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. It looks like a torso, a skirt, and of course, the action booty rework. And it's fully red, which is so cool. And one thing I do want to point out before we move on to the action booties, that little like lace-up corset on the torso, so cute. That is like so cute. It looks like a little bit of a white choker. I'm not sure. But anyways, the whole outfit, the whole set just looks astonishing. Thank you, Alex, for creating such a beautiful creation. And here's the moment we've all been waiting for, the action booty rework. Look at this photo. Take a good, hard look. This is so cute. I know I say that every time, but this is really cute. Like, what else can I say? This is cute. And I would love for the action booties to have a third rework or a second rework, actually. Third version of it, though. Because the first version, they used to be chicken heels. The second version is what I'm wearing right now. And hopefully the third version would be Alex's version because these heels or these action booties look so cute. <laughs> like they're so fashionable. I don't know. Maybe it's just my style, but I just love how this looks. And I would 10 out of 10 wear it in real life. So, you know, that's a plus. The modeling looks really smooth. So let's clap it up. Great job, Alex. The next idea is from Emily Harrington. And this is the Coral Sunset set. Sunset set? That's a tongue twister. Finished a second set based off of a mermaid. Let me know what you all think. Here's the set. Okay, first of all, the set aside, the graphics and the drawing for this is over the top. Like, this is crazy. This is something I'd see in like a dress up game when I was little, like just such detail. Like, that's so cute. Emily Harrington, go off, like literally AWF. Literally go off. This is so cute. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and read the prices to you guys. So we have the Shoreline Crown for 15,000 diamonds. The Seashell Top for 20k. The Coral Sunset Gown toggles into shorter skirt for 45k. And we can see on the left is the longer version and on the right is the shorter version. Then we have the Coral Sunset Sleeves for 3k. Pearly Shell Necklace for 1500 diamonds and we have the Coral Sunset Flats for 25K. This is so amazing. Just imagine having the skill set to do something this detailed and this pretty, like this is just so pretty. It's not even just about the idea of the set, just the presentation graphically is just 
It's a 10 out of 10 from me. That's all I have to say. And the next set is from, well, it's from a girl called Lil Pianda on Instagram, but someone else posted it on Twitter. So I'm gonna put the names and whatever, the tweet on the screen, you guys can see it. So here's the first photo, by the way. And it says at the top, sweet candy set made by Lil Pianda. I like that name, Lil Pianda. So this is just amazing. There's no prices, but like, that's fine. I think it's so cool that somebody brought that idea from Instagram to Twitter so that more people could see it. And more people did see it. And more people will see it as soon as I upload this video. So we have the full sweet candy set. We have a corset, sleeves, skirt, hat and hair clip, and boots. That's really cool. I wish we had like a hair clip in Royal High, like an actual hair clip. And here is the second photo from Lil Pianda's set. And it's just a full set put together. And I think it looks so cool. And then again, it's called the Sweet Candy Set. And this is definitely giving me Candyland vibes. So we're moving on to the last idea. And it's not really an idea, but I think it's like tea. Okay, well, I'm just gonna explain it once I read the tweet. So I was looking on my Twitter timeline, of course, and Salty Shio Roblox, the person who's made tons of hairs for Royal High, the person who's made the cottage skirt rework, and just many more things in Royal High this person has done. You know what I forgot? I was still wearing the action booties. They kind of look cute, not gonna lie. So Salty Shio's tweet says, OMG, I found an old skirt again. This was meant to be a rework for the magical Enchantress skirt, but I started disliking it. On the right screen, you can see how I tried upgrading it by doing semi-transparent layers, but I failed miserably. I totally disagree, by the way. So here's the first photo. Can you say wow? Like, that's so cute. Like, if that was a Magical Enchantress rework, I would never take it off. Please have this come into game. Salty Shio, we've seen what you've done for the Cottage Princess rework. Please make it happen for the Magical Enchantress skirt because let me just show you guys how it looks. And like, seriously, no hate to the person who made this skirt because trust me, I was literally ready to give everything for this skirt when Royal High first came out because this was like basically in style. Royal High's quality and style has changed since then. I mean, look at the detail on this top and then look at the skirt. I mean, like this is not a bad skirt. The only reason people would want to rework is because in comparison to the current skirts in game, this one seems a little lower quality. Like this skirt was like the skirt when Royal High first came out years ago. So of course, you know, people are open to change. I think I'm gonna do a comparison on screen from the reworked Salty Shio Magical Enchantress skirt to the current one that I have on right now. Let's go ahead and do a um, side by side comparison. So here is my skirt on the left and here is Salty Shio's rework on the right. Can you guys see the difference? It's gonna be so much cuter if this comes into game because it's not confirmed, so. And then here is the second photo of the reworked skirt that Salty Shio made, but again, they added a semi-transparent layer on top and I think it makes it like even more elegant. I mean, like, I think the semi-transparent layer keeps the um, the core values and the core ideas of the original skirt because this skirt is really transparent. You can see, I think this is the old Cottage Princess skirt underneath, but yeah, it's really transparent. So I feel like the semi-transparent layer on top of the rework would really hold the core elements in place. And then Salty Shio also posted, I think they posted it um, right after they posted the tweet about the rework. And they said, let's hope it turns out good looking after the next try. The next try? So you're saying you're gonna do it again? You're gonna make another Magical Enchantress rework? <laughs> Anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hop on that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to become a bunny and to join the bunny garden. This has been your girl Ashley Bunny here. Bye, mwah.